the word closeout to describe the defensive action we must take when an offensive player catches the basketball. A proper closeout does not allow that offensive player to take a comfortable jump shot or make an easy straight line drive to the basket. We're going to look at the closeout in whole first and then break it down into parts. Our defensive player is going to close out on the basketball as the ball is released in the air. Good, let's break it down. First, to gain as much distance and quickness as possible, we go big steps to small steps first. Big step sprint, break it down into small choppy steps to get our balance. Again. Secondly, we wanna make sure that we present with our hands high, slightly above our shoulders, not too high to lose our balance, but enough to disrupt this player's thought process in throwing the basketball in, enough to also potentially disrupt the shot without fouling. Hands high. Good. Then lastly, we wanna make sure the biggest key here is to get to a position of balance and quickness. That way we are able to defend either direction or the shot. We want to make sure that in our closeout, we are taking away comfortable jump shots, comfortable drives to the basket. Position of quickness and balance, we're going to go with the middle drive here. Lane line drive. And then finally, on this closeout, disrupting the shot without fouling. When you have a team in which all five individuals on the court are consistently closing out, they're taking away comfortable drives and comfortable shots throughout the entirety of the game, you're gonna have a very consistent quality defensive team.